Hi guys, in this lecture we are going to create this simple transition. It's simple, but you can add to the motion graphics or replicate the motion graphics to get even more effects. So let's start here. We want to create our mat. What I've done is to take the previous mat, duplicate it, drop it over here and of course it's now empty and we can start with our graphic. To create the motion that you have seen, we are going to use the rectangle tool. I will double click on it. And of course, I don't want any stroke and I want the field to be 100% white. If you look at the field here, I'm going to make it 100% white for the shape layer. Now, I want to create a rotation on the bottom left corner over here. So I'll select the layer and go to the pan behind tool or the anchor point tool. Click on it and just bring it to the corner. When it is very near, I press Ctrl, it will snap here. Now let's see what's happening here. If I open rotation, it will rotate very fine on the corner, but I can see the borders of the rectangle. I don't want that. So I'm going to increase the size of the rectangle. Using the selection tool, you can just click on the right side and make it bigger. Now you don't see the side coming in. And if you do, you can make it even bigger, just like this. So let's create the animation now. At one second, for example, we are going to keyframe the rotation at 0, 0. We come back in the beginning and we want to build just over here. So it's going to be minus 90. Here you are. Of course, I will select the keyframes, press F9, go to the graph. I'm doing it now before replication. It's easier a bit. And just do it like this. Notice, do I like it? Fine. Cool. Let's go now and start duplicating this layer. I will duplicate it, for example, four times. So it will be five of them. Control D five times or four times. You have five of them. Of course, now you want to time them. You don't want them all at the same time. Before that, let's play on the opacity. If select all the layers, press T for opacity. You know very well we are going to cover with the first layer here. Let's start by the bottom here. We make the first layer, for example, 20%. We go up, we make it 25% or 30%, anything you want. And let's say this one, 35% and then 40% or 45%. Then we want to time them now. I will just play on the five frames, click and drag the layers. Here you are. Very simple, very easy. We've done already something like this. And the last one will come over here. If you play the animation now, it's all ready for you. They're slamming down very nicely, the four of them. Let's go to the main uh, composition now and see the effect here. I press spacebar to play. Here you are, the reveal is very smooth and very delicate if you want to say so. So it's pretty nice, you can add more now. Now, this is one transition that you can already use, but I want to add more to show you how you can play with it. I will come to the mat here. And uh, simply, I will select all the layers, right click, and go to pre-compose and call it mat for side one. I will click OK. So you have now one composition here. I will just duplicate it. Look how simple it's going to be. I mean, these tips are very nice, but now they are on top of each other. OK, cool. So we'll take one of them. Let's take the bottom one, open the scale, remove the chain link and write minus 100. Okay, so you have it now on this corner. So now, if you notice, the bottom one is on the right corner. We changed the scale minus 100%. Is the way to flip it. And the top one, you notice it on the left corner. Let's go to our test video and decide, okay, is that cool enough for us? So we press spacebar to play. Here you are. That's pretty cool. It's a nice one. Of course, you can come and change the opacity. Now, if you want to add more, for example, you can add a third one open the scale and say okay make it uh, minus 100 over here and it will drop on this corner if you notice i'm gonna solo it so it's now on this corner and another one Control d and we open the scale and we say minus 100 on both sides so it's on this corner if i solo it again you notice it's on this corner now without the solo here you are if you play now you have a different animation and you have a different reveal, which is pretty cool. So it depends on you. You notice when we put them all, the intensity of the opacity is going up, in fact, and then 
here you are it's revealing pretty fast but it's still quite cool and it's still quite efficient so now you have seen this uh, very simple example of uh, reveal using some motion graphics i'll see you in the next lecture in this lecture guys i will show you how to create this horizontal bar transition and a vertical bar transition and also another one with some squares opening up it's very interesting and i'm sure you have seen this uh, very many times you are not going to create a complicated motion graphics in fact you are going to use a simple effect and here i did not apply any blur effects and so on they are all shot so let's dive in the first thing we need to create our mat and i already did that i created the composition mat for griddler and we are going to create our mat over here Let's uh, double click on the rectangle to create a rectangle that is the size of the composition. Now you go to your effects and preset and there is an effect called Griddler. You have here the CC Griddler. You click and drag and drop it on the rectangle. Now here you have horizontal scale and vertical scale and the tile size. Well actually this effect is supposed to give you some kind of tiling. For example, if you go to the horizontal and put it at 50, you notice now it has tiled horizontally and you have just vertical bars. If you take, for example, now the vertical and make it 50 also, now it has tiled and you have horizontal bars. If you change the value of the horizontal and the vertical, you have actually now squares because horizontal scale is equal to vertical squares and you can animate these ones. Let's see how we're going to animate them. Let's go to one second here. Put uh, the horizontal scale to 100, go to vertical scale and also make it to 100, here you are. Notice I did not change the tile size, I will show you later how. And then keyframe only the horizontal. Let's go to the beginning and take the horizontal to zero. If you play your animation now, you have some kind of tiling opening. Now you don't have control, they are opening from the middle of the tile, you don't have control over that. You cannot make them open from any side, just in the middle of the tile. So you have a very simple animation. To add or reduce the number of tiles, you come to tile size. For example, if you make it 50, of course, the tile size is bigger now and you have fewer bars. But this animation is still pretty cool, mainly if you speed it. Let's go see its effect on the video itself. Come over here and press press bar to play. You have a very nice transition here that's opening slowly slowly of course we can work on that now if this number of ties is not good for you cool let's go back to the griddler and then add for example here make it uh, i don't know 30 for example and you notice what we have here very nice you come back and you can play it over here see exactly the effect that you want So this is the animation you're getting with smaller tiles. So you have more bars. Let's go back here. And instead of animating the horizontal, let's animate the vertical. So I will remove the keyframes on the horizontal. I will just click here. The keyframes have disappeared. Come to zero here. Set it at 100. And vertical scale set it to zero. And keyframe the vertical scale. Come after one second and make it 100. Cool. So now you have just vertical bars coming up. Cool, this is based on 30. If you now make it smaller, if you like, you will have more or less, whatever you like. You can add the values, make them bigger. I will take, for example, in this example here, 15. Okay, so I have very many of them. Let's go back to the video itself. And if you play it, you have a very nice animation. So now we did vertical and we did horizontal. Let's go back and now play with both of them for example at zero here i'm gonna put both of them at zero open the keyframes you also keyframe the horizontal scale go to the next keyframe and make it 100 okay now notice it's a very nice animation and a very simple animation by the way cool let's go to the test video and play to see exactly what you are going to get pretty cool right guys you notice pretty nice of course you can come and add the blur effects to get them a bit blurred or something like this let's go back to the mat open our keyframe so we need you and then we select them both press f9 
then go to the graph editor and just make both x and y we just make them just like this and see our animation from here how smooth it can be pretty cool let's go back to the test video and we press spacebar to play pretty nice right guys so using a simple effect you have created a very powerful transition and these transitions are pretty nice now in the next lecture we see a different form of transitions